One of the television correspondents at this news conference in which the president is there on an unannounced visit, part of a ceremonial signing of the agreement, and you see it there, one right after the other. One, one of the journalists jumps up throwing the shoes at the president. Let's listen in. And we have been looking at video that just arrived here a few moments ago. Video of a news conference with President Bush and Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki as they talked about their signing of this agreement, the Status of Forces Agreement and Strategic Agreement. Let's listen in to the reaction. Amazing. You see one of the journalists there. We are getting reports that he is from Al Baghdadia Television. A correspondent at this press conference reportedly says this is the end. Makes the statement this is the end Today, just before throwing the shoes. Patty Colhane joins us now live from the White House. Patty. Hey, uh, Christina, how are you? Um, as you've just seen the video, um, President Bush, we should point out, was not injured. As you saw, the shoes sailed over his head. Um, and I'm just going to ask if we could switch the monitor real quick so I can see what you're seeing. Um, we do know that Dana Perino, though, has a bit of a black eye. Apparently, she was caught in the... Um, uh, the uh, melee to get a hold of this television reporter and got a microphone in her eye. So Dana Perino, the White House spokeswoman, has a bit of a black eye. You're seeing the video here. Uh, apparently, as you said, this is a television reporter, um, and he screamed out, uh, this is a farewell um, kiss, you dog. Again, a news conference that uh, was supposed to be, at least in the eyes of uh, the president and the Bush administration, uh, supposed to be a ceremony. Uh, an agreement being reached by the governments, the U.S., as well as Iraq, positioning troops, potentially positioning troop withdrawal by the year 2011. Instead, we will remember about this, quite frankly, are these shoes. And we, we are now getting information that the president apparently jokingly responded uh, following this incident, saying that this was a, a size 10 shoe. Uh, Patty, I understand we have you back on the line again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the president uh, really did joke about this. He said, all I can tell you is it's a size 10 and then continued to take questions. Right before this incident, he had talked about this agreement, the status of forces agreement that you mentioned, that he flew into Baghdad to celebrate, saying that uh, it shows that Iraq and the U.S. are now on solid footing. Um, and be that was before this incident happened. At the end of the day... You know, how much real danger yeah. was he in? I mean, this was a this was an insulting thing. It was a chaotic moment. It's uh, I mean, I don't think anyone would say his, his life was at yeah. risk. So he did move around uh, more on this visit than he was able to in the past. He was able to visit some places and visit with other Iraqi leaders okay. that have been impossible in the past. But, uh, you know, Again, in a controlled environment, this um, thanks this, so this much, Richard. We happened. appreciate it. I'm Christina Brown. We return you now to our regular programming.